Dirk Werner, 30 years old. He's passionate about racing and since this season he's been driving in the DTM. The man from Lower Saxony managed to get the last free place on the BMW team. It was a huge relief, I was so happy. My feelings were really chaotic actually because I've been waiting so long for it. It was just fantastic. We've known Dirk for quite a while, we've had him around for some time. Last year in the ALMS he really did exceptionally well. A top performance was the number one criterion for us. So that's why Dirk Werner deserves to drive our BMW M3. BMW is back. The company has returned to the DTM after more than 20 years and Dirk Werner is on the team. I think it's a pretty brave thing to enter the DTM and compete with the likes of Audi and Mercedes-Benz. It was really interesting to see how this project was prepared and how the car was developed and I think that everyone can be happy and proud right now, because the comeback really has been a great success. For Dirk Werner, the DTM is the latest highlight in a sports career that began way back in 1990 in go-karting. I rode go-karts for quite a while, seven years before switching to the Formula Junior. Martin Tomczyk drove with me too, among others. I can still recall us driving in the German final in 1997 in Waldorf at the Hockenheim ring. I was second back then and he came in third. Then we met again one year later in the BMW ADAC Formula Junior, so we've already driven together for two years. There were lots of moments where we not only crossed paths but had good discussions as well. It's interesting that we're meeting up again after 13 years and that we're both with BMW again. I think that's pretty special. On the road to success together, with Bruno Spengler on the BMW Team Schnitzer, Dirk Werner has one of the most experienced DTM drivers at his side. Naturally, because of his DTM experience, Bruno Spengler is the guy who sets the standards for the team. But Dirk Werner knows his stuff too and he's trying to do the same. I can talk with him, I can compare my data with his inspector circle with him and we can discuss where to break and what line we're using. I know that if I'm as fast as he is during a race weekend, I'm definitely doing well. I don't think he needs to learn much from me, he's going his own way and he's doing very well. Outwardly, Dirk Werner often seems calm and relaxed and self-contained. Is that really true? He's relaxed, yes, but I think he knows exactly what he wants. Well, I used to call him Iceman, that's what they call him, because he's always just kind of chilling and then, he, and then he runs a good lap. I think that what you see on the outside is different from what's inside. I get nervous before the race, before the qualifying, so I'm not always calm and relaxed. But is there anything that makes the Iceman really lose his cool? Ha. Huh. That's a good question. I don't know. I've not seen him angry, actually. I've never experienced that, actually. Maybe you should ask his wife. Maybe it's good if you project a bit of calm and don't make others around you nervous if you're feeling worked up and irritated. I don't think that's ever been a bad thing for me. When it comes to racing, all the philosophy gets forgotten about. Because that's when Dirk Werner is in his element. Just like he demonstrated in the first qualifying in Hockenheim. Starting place 3, best driver of BMW. Just a collusion with Ralf Schumacher in the race prevented his first DTM points. Dirk's a racer, he's experienced, he's intelligent, he's got the speed, all in all he's a top driver. Dirk Werner, he's passionate about racing. And now he's at the very heart of the DTM.